Hello best friend and welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Girl, if this is the first time you're watching my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. Listen, I do pop culture videos every day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me, grab a snack and a drink. Get comfortable, put that pillow over your tummy, bitch, because we have to talk. Now listen, this kind of pisses me off. I Sometimes I wish I can stand and just like, you know, but this pisses me off. We have to talk about Khloe Kardashian. Um, Chloe Boo, listen, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but we have to help, we have to contact Dora the Explorer because, girl, we need your dignity back. Dora, ¿dónde está la dignidad de, de, de Chloe? La dignidad de Chloe está en la mierda. You know, that, girl, I just don't get it. Dora said her dignity is in hell, bitch, because, like, we cannot find, we need to check the lost and founds, bitch. Anyways, listen. Uh, Daily Mail is reporting that Tristan Thomas, her ex-boyfriend, who cheated on her 5,000 times, had a baby outside of their relationship, cheated on her when she was about to give birth, Jordan Woods, hello, all this fucking drama, moved two houses away from her, and that he still has high hopes that thinking that because he moved 1.2 miles away from her, that they can kind of rekindle their relationship. Now listen, the fact that this man moved two houses away infuriates me, okay? I don't know what kind of agreement they have but the agreement does not involve chloe's dignity because if you are going to do this to me you think i'm gonna have you sit close to me you think i'm gonna involve you You think i'm gonna want you in my neighborhood are you fucking kidding me she has to be reminded that he is two houses down from her after all of the pain that he put her through like when is enough enough you know what i mean it's like ding dong bitch i don't get it okay the multiple choice question there's no there's there's no multiple choice it's a b and c and none of them are correct bitch we need the mo we need the none of the above okay we need d we need d oh, girl i need some d bitch <laughs> i know you do too okay bitch um or b whatever you like no but for real you know or a i don't, I don't a b c d a oh, girl all the alphabet okay <sighs> i just don't get it i don't get when this became appropriate this man has put her through fucking h e double hockey sticks that's hell and he moves two houses away. And he says that he has, he's very confident that maybe they can rekindle his their relationship. Are you insane? Like, are you actually insane? I'm not even, I'm not even mad at him because she is allowing this, okay? I get it that they have two children together. I get it, I get it. But damn, you are still a woman. You are still heartbroken. You are still hurt. How are you going to allow just the fact that he is their baby's dad get you to have him two houses away you know he could have moved to the neighborhood next door but two houses in the same fucking neighbor after everything fucking put you through are you fucking kidding me and he does l listen every single family event you see him in the background honey you see him in the every single background the man does not get it okay and yes i understand people make mistakes but damn he's made so many fucking mistakes he haven't even had a baby while they were expecting their fucking baby like are you insane um it says here that chloe Chloe is uh, very firm, allegedly, and very clear that she does not want to be romantically involved with him. And um, he is still, you know, trying to do it. And he still feels very optimistic. Um, it says that at this time, he feels like he can do, all he can do is be the best father to their kids that he can show Chloe over time that he's there for their family. Um... It says that he is so happy he was able to find a home right around the corner from them because they're his property. Oh, not property, priority. Um, he just wants, I was about to say, damn. He just wants to be there for his kids, which is great. I like that. Um, uh, okay, I, I like the fact that he wants to be involved. I like the fact that he wants to be in the kid's life. I love that for him. And I love that for Chloe. And I love that for the kids because, you know, that's great. But I have to say, kids don't get the respect that they take. Even me, when I was a very young kid, I realized things that were going on. I realized certain things that hurt my mom and that would hurt me. Kids are not stupid. They can sense things. Listen, you know, I, I, I feel that kids, un, they, they fucking feel things, man. Kids feel things. They know what's going on. They can sense things. I'd rather have uh, a separate mom and dad. You know, I'd rather have a separate, uh, I'd rather be in a divorced family than an unhappy family. That's, that's how I think. And, and I feel like a kid would very much enjoy seeing their mom and dad happy, 
you know, and 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 not be together, then the fights, then the crying, then the the shift of energies when one of them walks in, you know, I think that is number one. I think it does not matter if you're not together. A happy home is better than a than an unhappy home, in my opinion. Chloe has been very understanding. We've seen this with Lamar. We've seen this with 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 her relationships. Chloe oftentimes puts her happiness as a a second. You know, it, it always she always comes second in my opinion. And I never seen Chloe, even with her relationships with her sister, put herself first. I've always seen her with her sisters as the last one. She has always said she's the ugly one. She's always said she's the the yeah, the, the 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 one that stands out. I don't think that she's ever felt like she's a priority. And I feel like that has kind of, um, that has moved into also her relationships. We saw that with Lamar, and now we're seeing that with Tristan. Tristan has put this woman through hell. And I don't think that him being, I think him being optimistic is him being a fucking asshole. I'll tell you guys that. It's like, it's sort of like, it's all about him. It's like, I, I know I put her through so much. I know I even had a baby even when we're together. I know that I cheated on her when she was pregnant and she was about to give birth, but I'm still optimistic that she's gonna forgive me and she's gonna take me back. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, how selfish are you? How egotistical are you, right? And Chloe does not, in my opinion, does not stand up for herself. And if they think that we wanna see this on, keep, on, on the Kardashian show season three, girl, they have it all wrong, boo, because we don't wanna see Chloe Kardashian be used the way she does. I, and, and you know, that is pissing people off. The fans that they have left, because people really do not like the Kardashians, the fans that they do have left are fed up with this. They're fed up with Chloe being somebody, somebody's doormat, okay? And that's what I do think. I believe that, again, amazing for the kids to have them close by, but he needs to respect Chloe, and Chloe needs to respect herself, in my opinion, allegedly. Listen, that's just honestly, that's what I think, bitch. Um, and I, 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 I tell you, I, I just, I don't get why people allow someone to keep on ruining their peace. You know, I don't know if it's because I'm a little older and I've grown and I've had to live through things, but like, if someone is making me feel any sort of way that's not amazing, somebody that I know is not respecting me, that is not um, motivating me, is not in enriching my life, and is only putting me down, not respecting me, not supporting me, I cut those people out of my life. I've become so fucking like savage, you guys. I don't care our history. If I know that our energies are not right for each other, I just block you, bitch. I'm done with you. I don't care. Like. I, I truthfully don't care. Um, but Chloe, I, you know, I don't know. He's going to be like, hi, Chloe, do you have some sugar? You know, I, I can't. That's just way, that's team way too much. He, he needs to give her her space, honey. Because having him two doors down, when is she going to date? When is she going to meet someone? When is she going to, you know, how is she going to feel comfortable or confident enough to bring a guy over where he can just fucking pop in whenever the fuck he wants? No, bitch. Hey, can you imagine the kids are at school and she's entertaining a, 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 her, a gentleman caller, a, a, a boyfriend, and then he comes in and he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I just wanted some sugar. And then, you know, he, he sees Chloe, you know, I don't know. You know what I mean? It's like not healthy, man. I don't get it, bitch. Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I, I love you guys so much. And it really is truthful what I said. Cut the people that do not deserve you out of your life. Don't allow people who drain you who suck all the energy you know they're called energy vampires i believe don't let them people in your life honey help yourself okay help yourself not have those people in your life it's not worth it babe it doesn't matter your history doesn't matter anything if they do not bring or enrich in your life cut them out i'm so serious okay that goes for you i know you're i know i know that you think i'm talking about you and i am I am because I see you. I see you. And you need to cut that person out of your life. They don't fucking deserve you, okay? Anyways, I love you all so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.